Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha. How are you guys doing? So in today's video, I'm going to be doing this makeup look with mainly odd drugstore products. So if you like how the makeup on my face looks, please keep watching. My eye is burning because I put sunscreen on and it's, it's like in my eye so it hurts now. Anyways, I'm just going to zoom you guys in a bit so you could get it. So you guys could see my face a little bit better. If you guys saw my first two videos, you would notice that I cut my hair. It's a lot shorter and I feel really comfortable with this length. Okay, so now that I have my hair clipped, the first thing that I always do is I, you know, I wash my face and then I moisturize and I use a, the Cetaphil, this one, I use this moisturizer. It has SPF 35 on it and I honestly don't like it that much. I'm not a beauty guru and I don't know much about sunscreens and I know there's like a bunch of different ones like mineral based and like chemical based and I have no idea what this is so I don't know if it's good for under makeup but this is what I use it's what I've been using and you know my makeup looks fine the next thing I like to do is a primer I like to use this elf matte putty primer it looks like this I also have the um the poreless putty primer but I've switched over to this and I think this is actually more beneficial for me right now that it's getting hotter because since it's a matte primer um i think it does a pretty good job controlling my oils from seeping through the makeup so i just grab a little bit like this and i put it on my face i want this video to be pretty like i would like for it to feel like if we're on facetime like we're two friends and we're just talking on facetime that is what i want you guys to feel in this video oh my gosh I'm using the viewfinder as a mirror so that's why I keep looking at you guys please don't feel uncomfortable okay the next thing that I do is for like this everyday makeup look that I like to do I don't like to go in with a foundation one because I'm oily and two because I'm going for a natural look and I just don't feel like I need a whole foundation base recently I've been using two concealers I've been using this one, this is like my skin color, and then I'll, like a lighter one. I like to put the lighter concealer here and here, and then a little bit there. There's, I put my hair back and there's still hair in my face. And then I go in with um, this darker concealer that's more my skin color, and I put it, I put a little dot in those same areas. And I put this wherever else I need the coverage, so I'm breaking out. Or I have some like acne scars right here, so I like to put it there, and then a little bit on this side. And I also go here and here, because I got pretty red there, and that's pretty much it. Now to blend that out, I like to use a damp um, beauty blender. This is the Real Techniques one. And I'm just going to blend that in. My hair is still all over my face. Okay. Hopefully I don't come out too white. Because that would be embarrassing. I like to blend it down. And over my eye. Well, I just made myself look even whiter. That is great. No, it's fine because my face is really pink. So the white... Or the light concealer just makes it my normal skin tone, which is pale. If my if you guys hear my phone buzzing, my teacher is grading our assignments, and I'm getting a lot of no notifications from Canvas. Okay, now that I look like a ghost, I'm gonna add some color back onto my face. I like to use this Fit Me Loose powder to set my concealer. I don't put too much. So now I'm just gonna put that in my eye area and I still look super white that's great to bring some more color back into my face I'm gonna use this um, Physicians Formula Formula Butter Bronzer this smells so good um, does anyone else have this and is obsessed with the way that it smells? Because I am. Now I'm just going to go in and kind of go in here. And then of course put some powder on my giant forehead. 
I learned in a makeup video that when you apply powdered bronzer or powder contour that you're supposed to blend like this instead of blending down. So I do that now. Using the same bronzer, I just like to go here and down my nose for some light contouring of my nose. So this is my fourth video, as you guys may or may not know, and I have not told anyone that is not in my immediate family that I started a YouTube channel. I'm scared, honestly, but I plan on doing so after I put out this video. So if you are from over on my Instagram, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys came here to see this video, please comment. I don't know. Just let me know that you're from my Instagram. I want to know who came over here to watch my video because that's that's really nice. Thank you. <laughs> now, let's just continue. I'll probably add some more bronzer later and a little bit later, but I know I said this was my everyday makeup, but I want to try a like a peachy blush, which isn't what I always use. I actually don't have any peachy blushes. I'm going to be going into this NYX palette that I have. This is so old, by the way. I think I got this like two years ago. I still use it. Maybe even four. I'm going to be using um this corner up here and create like my own peachy blush. And I'm going to try it. Hopefully it doesn't look terrible. Okay. I'm scared. I'm going to go in lightly. Oh, it's not too bad. Oh, it actually looks pretty cute. Okay. I'm going to stop with the blush. Now that we're done with my face, and I don't look as pale anymore, the next thing I like to do is my eyes. So I've had a journey with my eyes. I don't have the biggest eyes and I have hooded eyes. So I can't do much. So I'm gonna be going into this palette. Um it is a I don't even know this brand. Um I got this palette when I used to be subscribed to BoxyCharm and this is the Violet Voss Olive Olive You Forever eyeshadow palette and the colors in here are actually pretty nice. Oh yes, I have two magnetic lashes that I never use and I put them on there. I'm gonna be going into this color called Wish. Oh, this like nude-ish color right here and I'm gonna apply that all over my eyes. And I'm gonna put some on the bottom lash line, the same shade. I just pinch my eyeshadow brush like that. Okay, so that's what the eyes are looking like so far. Again, I got like all the majority of my eyeshadow brushes on through BoxyCharm, which I don't have anymore just because they were sending me way too much makeup and I didn't use all of it, so I had to cancel. But if you want to get into makeup, I definitely recommend subscribing to Boxy BoxyCharm. You get things like five or six full-size makeup products every month which was really fun it felt like getting a present every month that's like the one thing i missed about it was getting a present every month but i didn't use enough makeup to keep repurchasing it every month by the way this is not sponsored for a boxy charm i barely have 11 subscribers do you think you think they would want to work with me they, they wouldn't but maybe in the future please subscribe <laughs> That's what the eyes are looking like. Now I'm going to go in to a deeper shade. I'm going to go into this one called Charm. And I'm going to just put it around the line, the water lines of my eyes. Kind of like as a makeshift eyeliner. And I'm going to do a little bit on the bottom as well. I 
if you guys saw, I brought the eyeshadow kind of over the crease just to create some interesting shadows on my small eyes. And then I'm also going to put a little bit right here in the corner. When did you guys start wearing makeup? I started wearing mascara, guys. I started wearing, I started to wear mascara when I turned 15. And that was it. All through high school, all I wore was mascara. And when I got into like senior year, I, in, I introduced a, a eyebrow mascara gel, which is what I'm going to be doing later on in the video because again, I have no idea how to do my eyebrows. I actually really liked my routine. It was not complicated and I felt pretty and it was easy to do in the morning. So I don't regret it. But isn't it just crazy how little products I used to use back then? I honestly still <laughs> do that. Um, we're still wearing masks at my school so really just my eyes are showing. So I just wear mascara and eyebrow gel and that's <laughs> really it. So I still use that routine. The reason I wore... I'm gonna stop recording for a bit. But I was saying was that I, so the reason why I started wearing makeup at 15 was because my mom actually didn't let me wear makeup before that. Which did bug me then because, you know, there was girls at my school at the age of like 14, 13. And even in middle school, they would show up with like full faces of makeup. But even though it bothered me a little bit because I wanted to be like the other girls, it didn't bother me that much. And I think not wearing makeup until I was 15 also really helped with me being comfortable in my own skin. Yeah, um, when did you guys start wearing makeup? Next thing I'm gonna do is my eyebrows. And as I said earlier, I don't know how to do eyebrows. So, this is like the one product that is not drugstore. It's, um... This milk, um, the milk makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel. And although this is not drugstore, I did pick this up at TJ Maxx, so I still was paying drugstore prices, even though this is not a drugstore product. Since this product is getting kind of old, um, it has started to come out a bit chunky, which I really don't like. But it's the only thing I have right now, so we're just gonna run with it. And I'll try to clean it up as best as I could. There's one eyebrow. You guys tell the difference? I just realized how light brown this color is and my hair is a lot darker than it. Okay, so the eyebrows are done. Okay, so going back to the face, the highlighter that I've been using is actually from the same eyeshadow palette. I don't know if you guys could see this really pretty, almost white, eyeshadow it's a glitter it's um it's basically a highlight so i like to use that and i just put a little bit on this elf brush that's like 50 years old and i put a teeny bit not too much because it is an eyeshadow and it's super pigmented so i try not to overdo it and of course i do a little bit on the nose Bit there. there. Okay. My dog again. Now I'm gonna finish the eyes by doing mascara. And I'm just gonna curl my lashes now. I go through a bunch of different mascaras, and usually I like this CoverGirl mascara. However, this is is such a pain to get off your eyes that I, although I like it, I've stopped using it because I had a lot of lash fallout. So I'm not using that anymore. And then I have some other mascaras that BoxyCharm sent me. But since I said that I was trying to stick with affordable drugstore products, I'm going to be using this Voluminous Million Lash Mascara. Okay, well... While he's doing that, I'm going to put mascara on. So now I'm going to do some for the bottom lashes. Okay, the last thing that I'm gonna do is my lips. So I keep it really simple and I do a chapstick and just the gloss on top. I'm just gonna go in with this little Vaseline chapstick. 
um, this gloss is Trust Fund Beauty, and it's called Lipgasm. Okay. It looks super pink on here, but once I put it on my lips, it's really natural. And we're done! Wow, you guys, that is the finished makeup look. I hope you enjoyed watching. I'm just gonna come up a bit closer so you guys could see how the makeup turned out. It looks nice, right? Okay, I'm gonna scoot back. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.